Hello, welcome to 1995 Batman.com. Today we are looking at the Riddler Power Center Micro Playset uh, from Kenner. Uh, managed to pick this up. Uh, I've done a review of the uh, Batman head. Uh, managed to find this on eBay the other day uh, in packaging. It's a little bit bent, but otherwise it's pretty much mint condition. Um, these are really hard to find with all the little pieces in, so I figured I'd spend a little bit more money and get one that was complete. <clears throat> So uh, this is the front of the packaging, uh, holds the entire Claw Island in a fold-up case. And then we go around the back and there's a kind of uh, ex explanation of all the little uh, bits and pieces and how they all work. So um, the Riddler lures Batman to his secret lair. Fire bat missile alone or with bat wing attached for full airborne assault. Uh, rotate brain drain wheel for tube color flashes. Swing chair into place for brain drain experiments. Throw open trap door and victims topple downwards. Uh, Batman stands ready to take on the Riddler. Uh, extend base to reveal bat wing docking area and detach battle cockpit to double the crime fighting power. Um, yeah, so really, really excited to get open this up. Um, gonna have to, gonna have to do it really. Um, yeah, let's open it up. And voila, here is the uh, closed uh, case. Uh, as you can see, that's a pretty good uh, Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey is obviously a very cartoonish face. Uh, it's very easy to do. Uh, um, I think it's easier than a lot of the other actors just because he's got such an exaggerated chin and cheekbones and everything. That's that's a really, really good um, Jim Carrey. So let's open it up and we'll explore Claw Island. So we just pop it there and we lift it up and we take out the bits. So we've got Riddler, we've got a Batman, we've got a Missile, and we've got a Batwing. Uh, now, unlike the uh, Batman Batcave one, uh, this one slides out to make it a little bit bigger. So this just pulls here and you get just a tiny bit more um, sort of, I think it's meant to be kind of like the rocks um, below Claw Island, there's some like nuclear waste and um, missiles and all sorts down there. Uh, so that's that. Uh, the Batman, that wing uh, just sort of clips in here, there's a clip there and there's a clip there, it just sort of like rests in place. It doesn't ping out where the Batman be, which is a shame, but that's just sort of where it lands so that you can close it up pull it out again. Uh, next we've got the the missile so this you can swing around in any direction you can pop this missile in so if I just get it right there we go and there's a little button here that's gonna ping it up I'm gonna try and catch this oh there we go <laughs> So you can use it as a missile on its own, or you can pop the missile back in and fire the Batwing as part of the missile. So the Batwing detaches, so you get the Bat Sub, and you get the Bat Wings, not quite the whole wing, uh, and you can attach this to the missile there, and then you can ping the Batwing off, which goes a little slower. Not quite sure if you can have it with just this on as well. I don't think so because I think it needs to. Uh, let's have a go. Oh yeah, you can. You can. You can have the whole batwing. In the picture, it just shows putting the wings on, but I guess you can do the whole thing. Um, right. What else have we got? So we've got a little spot for Batman here. He's got a very kind of small, kind of circular, kind of base to him, so he can stand there. And the Riddler is obviously in a bit of a kind of squatting <laughs> position. Like he's, um, yeah, taking a... So you can put him in this brain drain thing here. And he sort of just fits. Kind of his head touches the top, which kind of keeps him in place. And you can swing that out. Um, and up and down. And everything. Uh, there's a little... Um, kind of twisting thing here where you can twist, I don't know if you can really make out it goes back and forth and it sort of changes the uh, these kind of like glass 
um, things in the background, just go back and forth a tiny bit. There's a little computer station up here, and then here, aha, got it. This is a trapdoor, so you push, there's a little catch here that you push in, and then you can put Batman in here, and then you can sort of pull it out, and it sort of swing, he doesn't not quite fit. This is not as good as the Bat uh, Cave one, but it's still pretty fun. Uh, I like that they tried to you know, recreate uh, the Riddler's Lair. Um, I like a lot of the ideas behind it. You know, I wish this could maybe like move around a bit more. Um, I do like the Batwing. The Batwing's very, very cool. Obviously, the Batcave had uh, the Batmobile and the Bat Sled, and I liked how you could kind of like ping that off and twist it around and things. This hasn't quite got the same amount, but it's still very, very fun. Um, I'd say if you're going to choose between the two, definitely get the bat cave, but this is still a lot of fun. I find this is this was the harder one to find complete. Um, but yeah, I like this. It's 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 fun. Um, so obviously, yeah, this bat wing can come off. You can kind of hover it around. It's kind of the bat sub. Um, now I'm going to be getting on to. They also did um, a handful of. Well, they did two uh, kind of extra little kind of vehicle and character uh, um, packs uh, for this. So I'll be going into those next. But that is the Riddler playset. Let's get the Batman playset up next door to it. So there we go. There's a Batman playset with the Batcave and everything. Yeah, I just feel like this Batcave has just got a lot more kind of 3D stuff going on. Kind of it comes out a bit more. Um, but yeah, both of them definitely worth picking up. If you've got to choose between the two, go for this one. This is way, way, way more fun.